The latest in the gayest podcast is intended for listening by adult members of the LGBTQIA plus community and their allies. Discussions may contain material not suitable for folks under the age of 18. Listener discretion is advised. This week, we celebrate season two. And we catch up on all the pop culture moments that we missed. All this and more on the latest. And... we did it hey we're back wow holy crap you guys welcome back look at here and you can actually see our faces this time i mean you will cut well did you see our faces in the last only on like social media and stuff yeah but like on like the little like icon like our little you can see our faces, but only kind of. I mean, you knew what we looked like, but now you actually get to see us do shit. What we look like when we're talking. You get to see us act a fool. It's just, yeah, yeah. Act that's... a fool, girl. Act, act a, a fool, fool, girl. Act a fool. Have you seen uh, Maddie Morphis's, um talk show? It's no, so good. but what I have seen is that one clip that keeps circulating of her and um, Silky... Where she's like, you were on season 11, All Star 6, and uh, Canada versus the world. Canada versus the world. What franchise do you want to lose next? (laughs) And then she's just like, damn. Damn, Well, I don't want to lose again. (laughs) (laughs) Round of applause. Oh my god. She's giving it to her straight. I guess so. I mean, how else can and Maddie there, give it? It's Maddie Morphosis, ladies and gentlemen. Um, anyway, welcome back to season two of the latest and the gayest. For those of you who don't remember who we are, because we oh, yeah. fell off the face of the earth for a couple months, and of course. it also took me way too long to put episodes 29 and 30 up on the YouTube channel, because I just oh, no. forgot... <laughs> <laughs> fair enough hey people forget that it happens all the time and for those of you who don't remember who we are um my name is alex and i'm josh of course and lovely to be um, reacquainted he he's not uh he's not with us right now but you know he kind of is with us we're Lance? talking of course about our technical producer you made it sound like he's died. Oh my god! No, no, he is very much alive. He is, he's very much alive. He is. Um, we we love and love and appreciate all of it. He's um, living. yeah, exactly. But oh my god, I I just this is uh, how 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 have you been, my friend? How, well, how just in the been? short term, um, pretty good. I've been having burgers for breakfast lately. Really? Like, there's this place near me called eagles deli where um they have like basically any kind of burger any kind of day right and honestly having like so what i've been getting is like the cowboy burger which is like grilled onions barbecue sauce cheddar cheese i think bacon okay and comes with french fries and i get a pepsi and that's what I, I, i i like pick it up and then i'll just like eat it while i'm driving to work and it's honestly not good for me Kind of, kind of awful, honestly. Pretty, a pretty terrible way to start your morning, but like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm having a good time with barbecue sauce. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh, and I'm like, I'm like driving with one hand, taking a bite, and I'm like dripping all over myself. Oh no, I, I'm so. Which guilty. driving in Boston, that's pretty, like, pretty phenomenal driving. Pretty. I'm so guilty of that. I, I will fucking like. I have no self control in the manner of like. Once I have my food, I need to eat it. But if I I'm want driving it. somewhere, I'm like, I've got a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich in one hand, and then another hand on the steering wheel. But then also, like, you know, if I'm listening to music, I, I'll be like, <laughs> if, and God forbid I don't like the song that's playing, I gotta be like, no. oh, okay, hold on, I gotta change the... And like, oh, you got... You're steering with your knee. Yeah. I, changing, Ma, like, eating eating yeah. something and like changing elbow, a thing i got the elbow here i got the the sandwich in the hand um hand on the steering wheel and then like my pinky is kind of going towards like the button i because i my my car has 
one of those steering wheels that has like the little buttons that you can do to like change the song or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's wild. That is pretty wild. It Glad you had that though. I, what's really yeah, difficult. So... What's really difficult is eating Taco Bell while driving because tacos oh. kind of turn your head a little bit. Yeah. It's... Well, Taco Bell just I you know it's actually it's been a while since I've had Taco Bell. I've been on a kick recently of breakfast like homemade breakfast sandwiches like i buy just like cheap homemade whatever <laughs> i just buy like too cheap much work too whatever much. bagels somewhere mm -hmm. um and then deli meats and some sliced cheese which i do like you know uh bagel sliced uh deli meat cheese uh, and then, uh, you know, I put them all in the toaster oven, give them a, a good toasting, and then I uh, fry a nice little sunny side up egg Look on at that a pan and, and then just throw it on top of there with some, uh, I've been really getting into um, the hot sauce truff, if you've ever Never heard, heard of them. Her. Never They're, heard of them. A hot sauce company that got really popular on TikTok, but they it's a hot sauce that's made with black truffle oil, which you would okay. it seems weird, but it is actually really good. I had it on my um pad thai last night and it actually kind of slapped. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a huge truffle fan, but I'm interested. Yeah, truffle, I don't know. I've I've never been like a gigantic truffle person, but I can appreciate a truffle. Nor. Yeah. Um, no, I'm 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 a truffle hater. Fuck truffles. You're a truffle hater. I honestly, yeah, that's just that's just not that exciting for your so, so, so for something that hard to find. It's just not that exciting. You don't have that uh, refined of a palate, and it's not that I don't have a refined palate. I my pa pa palate is impeccable, and impeccable. that is why impeccable, and that is why In I'm a truffle contrarian. I'm just it's just it doesn't it's it's usually overpowering. It's usually like covering up everything else in the dish yeah. and it's yeah. just it's 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 expensive hard to find for too much payoff basically it's too much it's too much doing I too can much understand that. relax everybody you know, calm the yeah. fuck down <laughs> yeah well um, you, have but, you ever had like truffle fries with like a burger or something yeah and it's just like and now like now my burger is like underwhelming because it's like truffle Truffle just there's it's so truffle. much because there's just so much truffle, yeah. Too much. It's, it's truly wild. It's kind of like ketchup, in my opinion. And anyway, ketchup Ooh. will just obliterate all other flavors and just, you know what I mean? I've always been the believer that ketchup, even though it's like a pretty standard condo. Ah, ah. I was just seeing it like higher... wiggle. Josh's entire setup just took a tumble. Damn. It does this thing. Can we, just, can we not be doing this right now? Um, okay, while well, he does Keep that, going about ketchup. <laughs> um, I feel like even though ketchup is like a very standard condiment when we think about it. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, when you think about condiments, what you know, the first thing that comes to mind is usually like ketchup, mustard. Ketchup, mustard, mayo. Relish, mayo, you know, all that other stuff. But I feel like ketchup is a very specific condiment because there are mm -hmm. a lot of people out there that i know who with ketchup you either love it or you hate it it's i i can one, it's one or the other ketchup on hot dogs is fine ketchup yeah. on your burger is fine ketchup on eggs is despicable ketchup on eggs is despicable that's a crime against humanity Tell that to our technical disgusting. Producer. Tell that to our technical producer, please. Uh, I I will. I will. Once he comes <laughs> back, I'll be like, "Hey, we got, we got something to talk about." We got we gotta have a chat with HR. Yeah, mm -hmm. you heard it here first, uh, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Our technical producer puts ketchup on his eggs, um, but he will defend that to the death. Yeah, you, um, uh, it was the next debate won't be hard stoppers. Could be ketchup on eggs. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. But well, uh, oh, also, are you a when you use so you you like dip into ketchup? You got your fries and your ketchup. Mm -hmm. Yes, on top or on the side? On the side, on the side. Thank like you, thank relax, you. Relax. I mean, like 
a condiments on top of things is like a little like it's a lot for finger food in my opinion like oh yeah the only like way that your fingers are gonna get way too messy dirty it's saucy exactly and it's like, the and only the, time that this, I'm it's in... gonna get soggy mm -hmm. the only time i'm into that is like maybe with nachos but then again like i'm just at a point in my life where like nachos oh, that's are happening that much and it's part of experience with nachos exactly well nachos is it's part of the process thing. But if I'm eating like fries, burgers, and a, and burger and a fry, whatever, um, you you have to like, if it's on, if you drizzle the ketchup on top of it, the fries are gonna get soggy. It's all gonna like just not. It's just you're gonna get ketchup everywhere on your hands and fingers. It's gonna mm -hmm. be disgusting. It's gonna be disgusting, and also, after like two minutes. You got to reapply that ketchup because all the ketchup put on the top fries and the bottom fries are all barren now. It's true. Or have mar like substantially less ketchup. So you got to reheat. Yes. Or if you just have it on the side, and just do your little dippy. Mm -hmm. Wasteful. Y'all are wasteful. Yep. That's what I'm saying. It belongs on the side, so you can get the most amount of ketchup for each fry. Mm -hmm. And speaking of ketchup, we'll be right back. You need to go home. I, I forgot I forgot about I that. Missed I missed doing to... these. I missed this so much. I didn't. Go go. <laughs> and we're back for the first uh probably wonderful, but also probably not because the news is always kinda awful. Uh our first news segment of the season. Queer quandaries. <laughs> Today, we are going to be doing some, like, we're going to be talking about some of our favorite moments in pop culture and some of our just favorite moments in general that have happened since you last saw us. Because there's been quite a lot that's happened since we were last here. And quite a lot. You got, and even though you guys already know about it, of course, we have to give you our opinions because we are the only opinions that matter. That's true scientifically proven it's true now one two very significant moments i feel like um since we were last here the death of uh miss queen lizzie oh <laughs> i totally forgot about that lizzie r.i.p not gonna lie uh i guess r.i.p queen lizzie um queen elizabeth the Bit the dust. Was she the was eight she the, shit? I think second. I mean, that's one. That's definitely one title for her. Um, uh, <laughs> um, Very a wild. Oh my god. Oh my god. We can't talk about this without talking about how um, Trisha Paytas is also pregnant at the same time. Oh, and everyone was like foaming at the mouth the idea that Trisha Paytas Trisha was giving Paytas birth the day baby. the Queen died. Literally, oh my the God, that the was... Queen Elizabeth passed away. Trisha oh. Paytas gave birth, and Trisha Paytas's baby. I, I, don't, mean, I don't think it actually happened, but reincarnated oh. Queen Elizabeth. I wish. I wish. Oh my God, it was so. Oh. It was a wild day on Twitter for sure, and oh my goodness. Also, can we talk about the fact that look, Trish, you do your thing, but she named her baby. Malibu, Malibu Barbie. Barbie, Malibu Barbie, Paytas, um, Harmon. Is that what's the the guy that she's with or something? Uh, oh, I have no that. idea. But uh, Malibu Barbie Paytas. Wow, just that's quite a name. Trish, you really did one there. So round, I of, wonder... a, round of applause for Trisha Paytas. Like, just you go, girl. I, I certainly, I suppose. You go, oh. girl. You go, girl. Queen Lizzie's death. Um, truly. Truly. Also, another, some might say, a, another queen that was percolating in this time period, um, mm -hmm. Ice Spice, oh, really rose to prominence yes. in this time period. Uh, she kind of like popped off with her first song, Munch. Or, it's filling you, parentheses, Munch. Oh. Okay. And then she's done also other songs like In My Hood and... Uh, Princess Diana, 
See, uh, the, uh, the, oh, what the only fuck is... one that Bikini Bottom, Bikini about. Bottom. The literally the only one that I know about from her is the one that's kind of been popping off recently. Um, what the dogs? Uh, the say that I shouldn't have. Think about da da da. Oh, uh, that talk about shit that I shouldn't have. Yeah, that one. Oh yeah, because it's been blown up on TikTok. Yes, I love. She's so. She's just like really. I don't want to say controversial because she is not like. Sorry, I have to. I don't want to get copyrighted, but I have an energy drink here with me, so I have I'll blur to. it out. I'm blocking out any source of uh, copyrighted <laughs> material here. Fair that enough. Could get us in trouble. But people have so people. It, it, I'll say Ice Spice has been polarizing. People either really are here for her, like we're like, yes, she is giving, or people are like, nah, she's not. She's kind of trash. I don't like her. I'm on the Stan side of things. So as um, a Stan, do you think yes. that? she is going to kind of like continue her rise or do you think she's going to be like a one hit wonder type deal? Well, I think she's had a couple, she's had a few hits now. Yeah. She's done a few songs that really popped off. I can only time will tell. I think it depends if she, cause she just had her EP like, right. uh, that she just dropped. And I think she needs to like, hit the ground running so i think if she has like i think go on with this and if she comes out with like an al- a full album by the end of like next year mm-hmm. she'll be like set but i don't want her to like because i mean don't no don't fight me because i know how goes <laughs> the festival. but some like taylor swift that has like a new album every year right i feel like is too much it's doing too much i mean uh I, she's never been my the, the i've never swift- been I've never you, been a Swifty. You're not. You're not a Swifty. No, I've never been a Swifty. I don't know That's her. That's okay. That's okay. But I feel like uh, sometimes Taylor doesn't let her like fans take a breather. <laughs> no, like she doesn't let she, she doesn't let the albums breathe because like oh yeah, there was Evermore and then the newest one was Midnight's. Midnight's. Yep. Which and then like there's like Midnight's 4 a.m. edition and I was like, dude, that's I... not Midnight anymore. What are you talking about? Okay. It's, 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 so semantics, but. As a Swifty myself, I feel like I have to weigh in on this. Um, I, f- for one, I did not stay up till midnight for the release of the album, nor did I stay up till 3 a.m. for the fucking 3 a.m. release of Midnight. Oh my god. That... It's a great album, and I love the album. However, you will not... I, when I heard, you know, like the day before the album release, I think I was working that day and I was like, you know what, this will be, you know, I'm sure it'll be a great album, but nah, I, mama's got to sleep. I need my, I need my beauty rest. Like Taylor, I will see you at 9.30 AM when I am (laughs) properly rested and have a coffee in my hand. Yeah, I'll see then, you at the fucking drive through where God exactly. intended me to be music. Yeah. Speaking now, of, am, though... I, I, I don't have that kind of energy. I, I, I saw this um, I saw mm-hmm. this TikTok a couple... I think it was like a month ago or something, where somebody was like, can, uh, can Taylor Swift's next release um, be... What, or no. It was, um, when is Taylor Swift going to enter her 5 p.m. era? <laughs> like Her 5 p.m era yeah, like when is wh- like uh midnight the 3 45 p.m release <laughs> like because somebody the when it said like meet me at midnight i think this was when the lavender haze music video was getting released mm-hmm. and it was like somebody had stitched the tiktok for it and then it was like i have an 8 a.m meeting <laughs> like t- Taylor, I I can't keep doing this. We can keep. I want the Midnight Noon Edition. Exactly. Like Taylor, <laughs> some of your fans are very sleep deprived, and if you can hear me, please give us something. <laughs> like Taylor Swift, a very good avalister of the pod. Exactly. We. I stay. I'm a Swifty, but like Taylor, your fans are getting very sleep deprived. Well, like, 
I feel like we can't have this conversation though without oh. talking about the tickets. Dude, it's on my did you, list. It's did on you ever get them? Okay, then go right into it. Go right into it. Okay, so okay, let's talk about it. I have a bone to pick with Ticketmaster. <laughs> the, I, are you part of the, oh, I was part. I did not get tickets because I. And here's the thing. I received, I signed up for like the pre-sale. I got my email from Ticketmaster saying that I had been selected. I got my text message from Ticketmaster on my phone with my pre-sale code and everything. I showed up the next day. I got there early. I got there like a half hour early because that's when people said you were supposed to get there because it was just going to be absolute madness and correct they were. Um... And I I had everything that I needed. I get there, tickets go on went on sale at like 10 a.m. like local venue time. I get there at 9:30 a.m. to my computer. I type in my pre-sale code. Says this code is not registered with your verified fan pre-sale account. Please use the login for your verified fan pre-sale account with Ticketmaster. I only have one Ticketmaster account, okay? Yeah, you I, I, I you only have one. one. I have a singular Ticketmaster account. I have the emails and the text messages to prove it. I was robbed. Rob, I was robbed. Robbie mom. And there were even Swifties who, like, made it into the queue and then got kicked for some reason or another and then just didn't end up getting tickets because but even though they were like they still made it in but then they didn't get them they still said no just nah don't fuck with you sorry and you should fucking see the amount of scalpers that like scooped up some of the tickets and then were reselling them on websites for thousands of dollars there were i remember on ticketmaster I keep forgetting that we're on camera right now and I like go to pick my nose and then I'm like, oh wait, people are gonna see this. Um I'll 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 blur it out, don't worry. I'll <laughs> edit it in post. We um I went like I saw that some of the tickets were like let's say uh four hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. I saw a TikTok where somebody was looking at like the same exact seats, same exact venue but these were like reselled resold like scalper tickets. Mhm. $1500. Just enough dollars. That's that's enough like, for the crazies to go for it but not but too much for the average person. Oh, absolutely. And people were fucking livid. Livid. Mm-hmm. Well, it just it's the idea of the verified presale is that people who were really big fans could get the tickets and then the scraps went to the rest of the public yep and uh, did you sign up for the lawsuit that they they're doing Ooh. uh no i i kind of just my co my my I boss gave, is part of the lawsuit and it's i gave up i gave up i gave so up. unfortunate i really I, uh, I mean I also it, also if you're a scalper by the way fuck off if you're a no, scalper genuinely you mama. genuinely go die in a hole um get fucked. like i i have no sympathy for you um nor another oh. something yes. very iconic mm-hmm. that if you're this may not make a ton of sense to you if you're not like on tiktok or like social media or whatever um but negroni spagliato with prosecco in it oh stunning I was there for the, that, and I still don't get it. The rise of the Negroni Spagliato with Prosecco in it. Ooh, stunning. I this, don't know who either of those women were. I don't know why that matters. I, I It was... It speaks in those, it's such a moment, though. It was an so, interview done for HBO Max's show. It was like their spinoff of Game of Thrones. Um... House of was, Dragon. Yeah, House of the Dragon or like whatever it's called. And they were doing an interview with I think two of the main cast members. And one of them asked the other, and I can't remember these people's names because I'm terrible at that. 
um what's your favorite drink and then the other one replied a negroni and then it was like oh i was gonna say the same thing spagliato Ooh, Ooh. with prosecco in it oh stunning but people here's the thing negroni spagliato you don't have to say a negroni spagliato with prosecco in it because that's what a negroni spagliato means it it already means <laughs> that there's prosecco in it like a regular negroni is gin campari which is uh like melon kind of bitter orange liqueur oh, no. think about something else i think um i think you're thinking of um midori i am yeah that's midori um so it's gin campari and um sweet vermouth okay like equal parts of everything all and then mixed together and then if you... is yeah add espresso you... or not espresso uh, <laughs> of, uh so i was thinking prosecco uh, prosecco i was thinking yeah. like um that'd be good like i would like a dirty chai with espresso uh, yeah. i'm like yeah bitch that's what that's what a dirty espresso is or yeah, a dirty you know, that's the is. thing like and and also when people say can i get a chai tea latte you don't have to say that. Oh, even then, it's chai tea. Uh, chai, chai is, is a is a tea. Mm -hmm. So saying chai tea is like saying, "Can I get a uh, alcohol vodka? <laughs> can, can I can I get can a I get, vodka alcohol? Soda? Can I get an alcoholic vodka up? soda? Yeah. Yes. Can I get an alcoholic vodka soda? Which is what? my kind of vodka soda. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, you know but... they do. They, do. I when I I used to work at a actually back during the first season, um, I used to work at a liquor store and they we got tasted, we got to taste products and you got tasted. Ooh, <laughs> I wish. So everybody, um, were you, were, everybody's gonna assay today. Oh, absolutely. Drop them. I look. I may be a top, but you know. Listen, everyone loves. Well, gonna actually, I mean no. that's not true, but. I'm in my verse era now. Um, well, yeah. But we'll get into that later. We'll get into that later. Um, but when we were, when I worked at the liquor store, we got to taste, um, you know, new products and stuff. And one of them was a brand that was trying to do non-alcoholic spirits, like gin, vodka, tequila. Why? Um, I don't know. I guess so that people can like you can make mocktails and like enjoy you know just can... just have a fucking shirley temple like the nine-year-old you are <laughs> well because you know there's also the people who who are sober and like you know that's they fine want, but yeah. they want to still be able to have fun which i completely understand um but like never be me but fair enough <laughs> no no Unless I go like way too far up the deep end, but even we'll, then, we'll get to that problem. When, life's when too short. We'll cross that bridge when we come to. And, it. I, and, I, and I'm, I'm trying to make it short. I'm trying to cut it down. <laughs> we're here for. Where was it? Was the expression? We're here for a uh, good time. A good time, not, not a long time. Yeah, there you go. Some yeah. people burn the candle on both ends. I take the candle and I break it in half, so I have more ends to burn. And shove it up your ass. That part. That part exactly. right there. Exactly. Also, oh my God, there's there's this video of Bretman Rock's interview, like an interview that Bretman Rock did, going right. around that people are having discourse about, and there's a part where he like he like says something, and then to himself goes that part, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> that that just kind of like takes me out the because way, it's like the way that he has like such a thing with himself, it's so funny to me because it's like. You don't say like if you say like oh that part to some to some you say it to someone you never say it to yourself and the part that he's like saying about something that he said someone put out in the comments too like, I don't know who it was oh uh, but yeah it was it, it's just it's 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 wild, wild. it's wild wild maybe be like <laughs> fucking Brett the Rock it's just he's something else it's um truly oh my god my back and then one last thing to round this out because we gotta wrap this up. Um, special shout out um, 
this technically we shout out special shout out because this technically did happen um before our hiatus but i just wanted to say it again because it was such like a pop culture moment in uh 2022 uncut gems julia fox uncut gems i have no idea what you're talking about look up uncut gems julia fox on tiktok You'll, I'll look it up you, soon. You will not be disappointed. Well, then I also, I, I, I have one more thing to say. I, I okay. Also, a big cringe. Congratulations to uh, uh, I'll fire around for this because it's it's complicated. But right. Beyonce should have won more things at the Grammys, but she is the most decorated artist from the Grammys. She is so congratulations to her. The most uh the uh, uh the most she's won the most Grammys yes, out of everybody. In, yeah. But she also she should have won a few other ones, but. You know, congratulations to Harold and that other lady. Who also, who the fuck is Bonnie Ray? <laughs> I literally. You know what? Uh, we don't know, but you know what? We're gonna find out over the break. She apparently won the award, so you know. Speaking of Bonnie Ray, yeah, let's uh... take a break. And we're back. Thank you so much. For being here. Thank, Thank you. you for being a friend. Uh, hair flip. Um, so we just kind of wanted to like talk about what we've been up to because, you know, as celebrities, we do <laughs> like to keep some aspects of our life, you know, private. But we want you, our fans, to be able to know what we are up to. And we want you guys to to be in on our lives, to be in on so, our secrets. Yeah, of course. What have any anything big happening since the since the hiatus from season one, Josh? Well, speaking of tickets, speaking of celebrities, um, not happening yet, but happening in like two days. I'm gonna go see SZA in a uh, fucking Edie Ooh. Garden. It's gonna be the Gay Son and Thought Daughter tour. I like truly. I basically yes. Oh, because it's Omar Apollo and SZA. <sighs> Omar Apollo, gay son. Omar Apollo SZA, has daughter. like, like he's kind of skyrocketed a little bit, and he's like he, he's, now, he's been popping off. Yeah, yeah, he's like a new gay icon, Loki. I guess so. I have I I'm gonna show up, but I have I I don't know any of his songs. I'll be totally honest with you, but I'm no. very excited to show my support. All I um, know is that he's hot. That is all that I know. He's a little he's too. I don't say Twinkie, but a little Twinkie for me. Um, all I know is that he's hot. That's, that's all I know is that people on TikTok are like, mm, "Fuck me, yeah. Dad." Um, but um, I basically had this like, so as you know, I'm part of the Mo Nation. Love Monet Exchange. She's my favorite. Yes. Um, yes. that's Mother. She's I... a huge, huge SZA fan. So I like basically through my love of Monet, right. was even further introduced to SZA, and then. Shortly after that, she released the uh, SOS. So, like, I've been super into just like exploring her discography and that kind of stuff. Oh, also, Dochi. She's been a big uh, artist I've been like exploring and like ripping apart. I say Ooh. my three biggest artists right now there's Dochi, SZA, and Ice Spice. Okay. And let's see what also I get not like really dating, but like trying to date. I'm I'm realizing that I really hate talking to people. <laughs> ah! <laughs> How much I love you, and I'll talk to you <laughs> on the podcast. But holy shit, I and like, oh, my beard's a little uneven. That's fine. Um. <laughs> anyways, like, I also like. Well, if I go to a bar, mm-hmm. and someone starts talking to me, it's like I'm just like like no, not even that. I'm just like trying to talk to someone can just be so, like maybe I have like oh models, no but, like. I... I, I'm like I I'm like oh I'm exhausted like I want to be with who I'm with, mm-hmm. and if I'm not with who if I'm not with who I'm with I'm going yeah. home. Do you think you'd ever like, be like? Do you do you think you'd ever like have the confidence to be like one of those people who like, you know, goes up to someone at the bar and like, yo, here's my number on like a napkin or whatever. I I could if I wanted to. Here's the thing: I don't think it's a confidence issue for me. I think it's just you just don't like people. No, I think it's like. Equal parts like stupidity and arrogance. <laughs> I mean, like, I either people are like 
trying to talk to me and I just like it's not registering that they're trying to like interact with me. Right. So it'll be like, oh, I like your shoes. And I'm like, thank you. And I turn away. I'm yeah. done. That, that, and I, I, I like, I like, to say, like, huh, I probably should have like engaged with them some more. But like, oh. or either like, I'm just like, I'm, I don't want to make any new friends. I got enough going on. I've, <laughs> I've, I know enough. <laughs> listen, I have enough lovely people in my life. I and I do, I do want to be more social this year. Right. But at the same time, it's not it's not that it's hard or it's work. Yeah. I just like don't want to. Uh, no, I it just, I I completely understand. So I think I'm going to pivot and instead yeah. of like making new connections, I'm going to strengthen the connections that I have with other people already. If that makes That's sense. Fair. Okay, yeah. Keeping um, keeping ooh. those close, you know. Yeah. Keep your, keep your friends keep your close. Close and your enemies closer. Yes, and we are very close. Um, oh, what about you, babes? What have, what have you been up to? Well, um, <laughs> quite a few things in my life since we wrapped season one. Um, first of which, I'm gonna this being, out. oh, there you go. Um, first of which being that me and Lance, our technical producer, are now living together. Um, mm-hmm. it is quite an experience. We have learned a lot about each other during this experience like how the other person would probably live if we weren't there and sometimes that scares me um (laughs) oh no it's but we um we actually we have separate bedrooms which a lot of people would probably be like what but you guys are actually pretty fierce you guys are a couple. You're not like roommates or whatever, which true, but we, so number one, um, Lance snores and I detest snoring. I, I Oh my I, girl. I detest it. I can't, I, I have such a hard time sleeping if somebody's snoring. Quick side note. <laughs> The bear, because I like bears. I like bigger guys. Right. And I've been learning that they typically snore. They they be snoring. Oh, they absolutely. And I do. I be getting the dick of my life. I've been like, oh, that was wonderful. Had a yeah. great time. We're talking. We're going to bed together. And all of a sudden, she's like, I think we were talking about this the other day. It's like, it's like it sounds like someone's like fucking. You're trying to parallel park and you hit the curb. Oh God! Don't remind it, me about hitting a curb fucking or like oh what else it's like it's just it's like nails on a chalkboard it's truly no, awful it, that's and the, the men i like and they're just like screaming in their sleeps mm-hmm. and i'm like are you okay what are you going through yeah i'm like what yeah but no it's it truly um that's just like part of the reason why and also we just we're both such introverts and we kind of need like our own little space to just decompress Mm -hmm. so like it just it really helps and also our our decorating styles are very different um if you've you've been to our apartment so you've seen like our bathroom lovely place by the way lovely place thank you um our bathroom decor was my decision and you can tell because (laughs) our shower curtain as is just pink and orange peaches just all over and then the bath mat yeah, yeah. that we have is a big peach and it just says peachy clean mm-hmm. and it's like Douching. all cute and fun and like whatever but you can tell that i decorated the bathroom and not him but like you are it's you know, that's the fun of living with someone. You get a compromise. You know, mm-hmm. you did. Well, I think that's a, a really good way to like. I think it's something that um, a lot of people could like benefit from because oh, absolutely, it's not like Lance just can't sleep with you. No, like he just is never allowed to sleep with you in your room, or you're never allowed no, to sleep in your room with him. We sleep together, you know, when we travel and stuff, obviously, or when you want to, or whatever, whatever. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not like. Yeah, it's not like we've never, you know, want to be in the same bed as one another. Mm-hmm. It's just you have that option for either, for any numbers. It could be too hot. You could be upset each other. Yep. 
for whatever reason and having that space apart is good for whatever yeah. uh it could it's also just like having your own space to decompress and then you don't have to compromise on like what you want your room to be exactly because like you, you're, you're allowed to like maintain individuality mm-hmm. while still being together and i think that's really cool i think that's yeah. really cool <laughs> mm-hmm. my no like my bedroom like it has it's very like gay hippie like kind of e-boy vibe like i've got all my squishmallows i've got like <laughs> a gigantic ass dream oh my god above my bed <laughs> um but then i've also sorry got, like, i thought it was all my my fucking like alice in wonderland shit like around my room and um oh yeah and i've also got my signed photo of miss rupalina um staring down at me from the from my my uh, above my desk here so that's mm-hmm. fun but quick yeah. side note sorry all right, all right do you know about that twink on tiktok with the squishmallows that thinks he's the reincarnation of hitler no i we can't get into it right now we can't get to it right now but like that's the that's that's that it's as deranged and sick in the head as it sounds it's it's wild I mean, maybe that's not, like the right. Maybe this person okay. like, Maybe that's not the right verbiage for that situation. But like, <sighs> it is. It is. It's truly like I. I can't. I can't tell you how like crazy it is because like, he is like, oh my god, oh my okay. god. I, I can't. I can't get into it. I can't get into it. I can't get into it. Okay. Just, we're gonna. I'll, I'll. I'll tell you about it later. Maybe we can bring it up again later. But oh my god, it's just he says squishmallows. Right. I like because he's like in the video. He's like has his squishmallows behind him, and he's like. At a past, I had a very infamous past life, and it's and he's like putting on this German accent a little. Like it's, oh no, okay. Um... <laughs> oh my god, how have you been, girl? We'll discuss, have you this, been? At a, we'll discuss this at a further time. It's it's um, it's it's truly gag, truly gag. Okay, I'm gonna look this up afterwards, but um, yeah. So Lance and I are living together now, and um, another bit of information hold on let me she's currently asleep um but i am officially a doggy daddy i am a doggy mom in december of 2022 lance and i adopted a dog and i am officially a doggy doggy daddy she is love that for you demon but she's also (laughs) very much a princess and very much a daddy's girl like which which daddy both of us just what, <laughs> what whoever's around she's not like she doesn't prefer one of us over the other that's good she's yeah no she's not she's not like one of those dogs that's like i like you way more than i like you but dogs yeah oh love her um, you a little corgi i did love her it's, love her um but like yeah she fucking she's like i'm i'm obsessed with that little shit so love that for me and then i'm also like working two jobs now which like kind of sucks but boo yeah um but i it is what it is will be getting a more i'm on the hunt for a more stable nine to five hey Maybe we'll be able to make enough money to get a Patreon, and we'll. That would be nice. So sponsors, so, like and know, share. If, if you're a sponsor, please contact us because yes. I would really love to fucking uh, give you know some people the finger and you know just say goodbye. Yeah. Goodbye. I'm but done now. Speaking. Of goodbyes. Speaking of the finger. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, it's so sad, but we've come to the end. Oh, shit. <laughs> we've come to the end. We've come. we've come to the end. We've come to the very that's end. What you, that's what you do at the end. You come. It's true. You you come to the end. Anyways. And <laughs> speaking of coming, um, you can... Which, by the way... We have a fucking, like, storm of content coming your way. So oh, sure. Get those pens and pencils ready, because we, we got some new shit coming for you guys. Um, mm-hmm. You can like, 
everything still a lot of stuff is still remotely the same you can still like subscribe rate and review the latest and the gayest on spotify apple podcasts stitcher google podcasts amazon music and radio public and our youtube channel um you can follow us on facebook twitter instagram and tiktok at tlatg pod to stay up to date on all things the latest and the gayest and also check out our link tree where you can find all the links for social medias websites etc cetera, etc cetera, streaming services youtube channel all that good stuff and any um, charitable organizations that we are promoting at the moment but now you can also expect um some pretty cool shit we more content are... Absolutely. We wanted to bring you guys more short form content this season. So every Tuesday, check back into the street, all available streaming services and our YouTube channel for a new episode, new weekly episode of the latest and the gayest. And uh, on Wednesdays, check back into aforementioned YouTube channel for the video episode hey. of the new, the new, uh, the new weekly episode. So you can actually see our faces. Um, Thursday, check back in to everywhere for a new weekly release that we are calling Thirsty Thursday Thoughts. Mm -hmm. Thursday Thoughts. The Thirsty oh, yeah. Thursday Thoughts. All, we're talking about all things love, sex, relationships, passion, just mm -hmm. all of it it's just all the above hot. it's a hot steamy segment love i don't know but... why i i <laughs> it's, i'm torn i hate britain but i love british accents i think they're so funny i think the cock destroyers kind of just like brought that upon us they but, did um, they did but seriously though like thurs get into it thirsty, get into it thirsty thursday thoughts is not for the faint of heart so no, if I'm... you don't if you don't want to hear like twenty to thirty minutes of us like talking about our bussies, and like other people's bussies, um, then don't tune in. But you know, still you know, like and share and subscribe. Um, and then Sundays round out the week with us with a new little like fun surprise mini release, just a little mm. something, just just little, some random shit we feel like doing. Just a little. <laughs> Oh my god. You whore. Uh, <laughs> um, but like, you know, come back. Come be with us on Sundays to round out the week to just like chill and do something fun. and mm, Something for your commute to work. Exactly. Or just for your little, Sunday run or, you just know. Just a little something. Just a little. Just a little something. Just a little tip. This is our tip from us to you. Mm -hmm. and, and your tip from you to us better be money no yeah that would just letting that, you know <laughs> that would be great um some actual money would be nice yeah so this can stop fucking moving every time i <laughs> yeah adjust myself some uh some actual you know good like equipment would be oh my god nasty. our equipment's not bad it's just no we're squ i think squarely middle of the road but we we do we we do what everything that we do here is funded out of our own pockets. Yes. So And I'd like to start funding out of your pockets. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry about it. So we would we would prefer for your pockets to start uh funding. And in return you'll get all this wonderful content and more. So Absolutely. thank you for joining us. Go to the link tree and you have yourself a wonderful was it Tuesday or Wednesday, whatever day it is. Whatever day you're listening to this on, go go have a fucking amazing day. <laughs> <laughs>